Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how I made a camouflage cupcake for my nephew's Fortnite birthday party. Okay, so to begin, you get your basic vanilla um, cake recipe and you're gonna separate it into four different bowls. So we can color um, the batter into four different colors. Uh, first, I started off with the black. The second color I'm gonna do is green. Uh, then I'm going to do a tan color and then I do like a dark brownish green color. So to get a tan color in batter, you can use like a copper color or you could put very little brown, it'll make it come out tan. I used copper because I didn't have brown with me. So now here I'm going to make the brown color and again, I don't have brown, so I took, um, I had first put black, and then I put yellow and um, red, and when you mix those color up together, it makes like a, a brownish color, and then I added a little bit of green as well. So there's no exact amount of how many drops of each color that you need. I kind of just started playing around and um, tried different ones and mixed different gels and, until I got to the tone that I wanted the brownish green to, to be. Okay, so now I have all of my batter colored and I'm just gonna put a little spoonful of each color into the baking cup. I'm not gonna put them on top of each other, I'm gonna put them next to each other so that all the colors can show and they don't go inside of each other. Okay, so the cupcakes are all baked. I think they look really cool. You can see all the colors from the top, from the bottom. I like how it turned out. So now it's time to work on the frosting. So just as we did with the batter, we're going to color the frosting. Um, I'm only doing three colors for frosting. I'm going to do um, like a tannish color, um, a dark green and a light green. So again, there's no magic number of drops you need for the gel food coloring. Um, it's really up to you on what tone you want and how dark you want it. But I will say that um, the frosting definitely needed a lot of food coloring to get to the greens that I wanted um, to have like vibrant colors and the dark colors that I needed. I used a lot of food coloring. So to make my dark green color, I added some green, some black, I'm gonna add some red, and then I add some uh, copper now, and mix them together. And you know, before I started recording, I actually took a little um, sample of the frosting and played with the colors to see what combination looked well together. So here's my tan frosting. There's the green frosting. And then here's like my military green frosting. And then I'm using the Wilton um, Swirl frosting tip. Um, it gives you three different cobblers to put um, each color in. And then the cobblers connect with each other. And you put one tip and you connect them all. First, you need to fill one bag for each color with the cobbler already inside. Okay, so I put the cobbler in each bag. I filled each bag with each frosting color and then I'm connecting each cobbler together and I put the tip and I'm putting the thing that holds the tip in its place. So I will be ready to frost my cupcake. So here's my cupcake. I cut off the tops to make it flat. And I'm going to just put a little dollop in the center. Like that. And then I'm just gonna swirl around it. And there you have it.
So now I'm gonna cut it down the middle so I can open it up and show you the inside, um, how you can see the different colors of the cupcake and the frosting together. I think it looks really neat. I hope you enjoyed my video and you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.